Chill out. Don't stress. Has anyone ever said that to you? Have you ever told your birds that? <laughs> I'm Alan Reynolds with Southland Organics, and today we want to talk a little bit about stress in your birds. There are numerous things that can cause stress in your birds. Everything from heat, light, overcrowding, ventilation, noise, fear, lack of food, nutritional deficiencies, disease, infection, and on and on. We just want to talk about two types of stress and their impact on the bird. Stress is a physiological, biological, or psychological response to a situation or stressor. Stressors are stimuli that disrupt homeostasis. In other words, stress comes from change. We see that in our own life. The better you handle change, the better your stress level is. Your birds are no different. From hatch to catch, your birds are dealing with change constantly. There are two types of stress, short-term and long-term. Pretty simple, right? Short-term or acute stress means exactly what it sounds like. Stress that only affects the bird for a short period of time. Now, this type of stress causes a fight or flight response in the bird that produces two important physiological changes, an increase in blood glucose and production of epinephrine, which is also referred to as adrenaline. Both of these provide the body with quick usable energy so that they can get away from the stress. The impacts of this type of stress can be anything from disrupting their eating or their rest to actually hurting the bird externally. I mean, in a fight or flight situation, where are the birds going to flee to? On top of each other, that's where. This is where a lot of scratching and damage to the skin happens. Long-term or chronic stress, meaning over a long period of time, causes a completely different response. The bird's body cannot sustain the production of adrenaline and increase in blood glucose for long periods of time. So, the body goes to plan B. When exposed to chronic stressors, birds begin to produce high volumes of corticosteroids, such as cortisol. Their bodies begin to break down fat into fatty acids to be used in the bloodstream as energy resources for various areas of the body. The less important functions of the body are shut down to provide more resources for the more important functions. This type of stress can cause immunosuppression as well, basically meaning the immune system is sacrificed while the long-term stress is dealt with. Now we have other problems like infections that creep in and that creates more stress. It begins a terrible cycle that can keep building. At the end of the day, your birds are using energy, producing cortisol, making fat, and fighting diseases rather than building muscle. And this is not what we want. It is important to be able to notice the signs of stress amongst your birds, such as feather picking, abnormal feeding activity, or aggression. Your houses are filled with stressors, and we have to find ways to minimize these stressors to give your birds the most comfortable and quiet grow out as possible. Keeping short-term stressors from becoming long-term stressors is a big part of that. When you enter your houses to check birds or collect mortality, maybe try dimming the lights to help keep them more calm. Is there a better time of day to check your birds than another? Pay attention to heating levels as your birds grow. I mean, a five-week bird obviously won't need the same heat as a five-day-old bird. Uh, don't run the weed eater down the side of your house with birds present. Make sure water is flowing good, especially on hot days. Every farm is different, and some stressors can be unique to your farm. Sometimes you have to sit back and just try to figure it out. Stress 
is a part of our life and definitely a part of your bird's life. There are things we can do to help reduce stress, but you will never eliminate it entirely. Your job is twofold. Reduce the stressors when you can, and when you can't, just help them get through it. I get calls all the time where a grower will ask me what they can do for some unique challenge going on. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I do play one on YouTube. <laughs> no, seriously. I have been around enough vets, broiler managers, and growers to know that there are some challenges that you cannot treat and a lot of stress that you cannot eliminate. In all of these instances, your job is to help as many birds get through it as possible. So how do we do that? Make sure they are getting everything nutritionally that they need. Good, clean water, plenty of it. Supplement with vitamins and electrolytes. Good airflow, proper temperature, dry litter. This is by no means a conclusive list, but they are things you can provide that will help your birds deal with the stressors that you can't control. If you have any questions or any ideas of topics that you would like to see on one of these videos, reach out to me, Alan Reynolds, at 1-800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if this was helpful. Until next time, don't stress. Keep those birds chill.